Hey. Hello everybody. Welcome back. It's time to do another Q&A. Yeah. So we did one back in July. We got <clears throat> some we I tweeted out on Twitter ask us anything and we've got a few questions to answer. And now not, we're back. It's pretty much same as before, not many, just just a few about one there's four questions here, so so yeah. The first question is from my good friend Hella. How are you doing, Hella? <coughs> Hi, Hella. And her question is, how did you two meet and become friends? Uh, we've known each other since we were at school, and and um, we went to secondary school together, and then <coughs> we went to college together as well. And yeah, we've just so we've been friends since two thousand and eight. That's yeah, which Thir is a good... 13, that's 13 years. It's a good long years. Yeah, we've had some good times. Fantastic times. I think we're like brothers. You are my brother. So, yeah, thank you for that, Hella. <coughs> and next one is from my good friend, Brayden. How are you, Brayden? Hey. And his question is, what is your least favourite film in a film series, so he basically means <clears throat> a, a series of films where it's where it's more than one movie in a, fran a franchise, basically. And least, oh. and he's asking the least favorite, like which one, which one is not your favorite, like one that it doesn't necessarily mean you don't like it. It's just your least favorite. Well, for me, I'm gonna go with Carry On Columbus, which is the the very last Carry On film. <clears throat> the reason is it's just it's just a very bland film. It's like it's the jokes in it are, very, are not very well written, and it it came out in the not early nineties. It was actually the first Carry On film in about fourteen years, so it was kind of like a revival because the the last one before it Carry On Emmanuel was basically the last film in the original series of Carry On films that ended in nineteen seventy eight. But then Carry On Columbus was a revival to the series, but. <clears throat> It just didn't work for me. It, it, well, a lot of the regular actors were dead, had passed away by then. Sid James was gone. Kenneth Williams had died. Charles Autry, Peter Butterworth, Hattie Jakes, and a lot of the ones that were still alive, they they didn't want to come back to do this one. Like Kenneth Connor and Bernard Breslau were offered roles in the film. Barbara Windsor, Joan Sims were offered parts in the film, but uh, they just didn't want to do the movie. But yeah, the only original ones that did come back were. Yeah, Jim Dale came back, and he plays the lead role in this one, which I appreciate. I, I love Jim Dale. And Bernard Cribbins came back, and so did Leslie Phillips, Jack Douglas, Jim Whitfield, but they had, like, smaller roles. And they had a lot of, like, modern comedians in, like... They had Rick Mayall and a lot of the cast from The Young Ones, <clears throat> which I appreciate, but, yeah, the movie just... It's just very bland. It just... It just didn't feel like a carry-on film, and... It's it's basically just a failed attempt at trying to revive it, and it's just such a disappointing end to such a fantastic series of films. Yeah. <clears throat> and what would your least favorite be? It doesn't have to be a carry on. It can be a a, a franchise, basically, where it's a series of of films. Like, what what would be your least favorite film in a franchise? Well, uh... it can be any any movie franchise. It can't be one movie, that it has to be like a series, you know, like films like The Wreck films, The Carry Ons. That's it. The Halloween Charles Plays. The Wreck films. So which is your least favourite one? Well, we all know this one. Remember when I did that review a few weeks, years, months ago? It was a year ago now. <clears throat> a year ago. We reviewed all of them. We did the, we did the franchise found footage film Wreck. Yeah. What did you say your least favourite one was? It was definitely that third one. Oh, number three. I didn't particularly like it either. I, I'm not really a big fan of the franchise, as you know. Well, I kind of like the first one, how how the chaos all began and all of the characters were alive and not into yeah. red-eyed demon zombies. Like, yeah. take Manu and Pablo and Sergio, for example. Yeah, the first one wasn't too bad, but it wasn't... A... And also what they did to Angela, Yeah. the beloved character of the show. So, yeah... So you didn't like part three then? No. And nah. that one had nothing to do with the characters in the building. Nah, I didn't like it either. 
So thanks, thanks for that, Braden. Hope you have a good evening. And then the next question is from my good friend Brett. How you doing, buddy? Hey. And his question was, what what drew us to the the character? the character Chucky and the franchise well for me um, well it's a funny story I never used to be interested in the Child's Play franchise or Chucky or anything you know I'd heard about them I, <clears throat> I wasn't interested but then one day I was in a charity shop and I saw some Child's Play movies in there DVD uh, it was Child's Play 2 Bride of Chucky Seed of Chucky and I thought you know what I give in. I'm just. I'm just gonna. Wa I'm gonna watch them. So I. I bought them, got them home. I. I watched them and I enjoyed them, and I immediately became a fan. And I wanted to like get the rest of the movies. So eventually, I. I ended up buying the the rest of the films and completing the collection. And I just. I just love. So yeah, that's how it happened really, and that's why I wanted to pl to do Chucky on Twitter as well. He's just one of my favorite characters of all time. He's funny. He's Foul mouthed. No, I just I love Chucky. And with you me too. <clears throat> yeah. So what about your? How did you get into Chucky? Well, uh, this story is actually. Um, kinda... well, well, obviously, I I know the story. Obviously, obviously. Yeah. Well, you see, I went on YouTube a few years ago. Yeah. And then I found this killer doll named Chucky. Yep. And then my parents got mad at me and told me off and banned me from watching it. Yeah, I remember that. But you're you're a lot older now, aren't you? You can yeah, you can watch it. Yeah, which is why I'm permitted now. <clears throat> yeah, it's because I made a deal to my pe mum and dad. Yeah. And by the way, um, he's the one that actually uh, introduced me to Chucky. I heard about Chucky because of because of his experience. So. Yeah, and now my mum and dad are letting me watch Charles play now, but only but only the less extreme ones, not the more gruesome ones. So that means Curse and Cult of Chucky are are still a no then. Yes. Yeah, they are quite gruesome. Yeah. So, thanks, Brett. And the last question we have is from... is from my, is from my good friend, Kerry. How are you? And her question is... What, what do you think makes the Carry On series stand out <clears throat> in British cinematic history? That's an interesting question. Yeah. I, I'm not so sure how... What do I think? I think it's just the... the I think it's the hum, the, the humour, you know, the, the innuendos, the jokes, and most importantly, the, the actors. Because, of course, they always use the same actors in each movie, you know. You know, Sid James really made them stand out, you know. Kenneth Williams is very was very well known. Charles Autry, Barbara Windsor, Hattie Jakes. Yeah... But I think I personally think they they are they are outstanding in British cinematic history, mm -hmm. but I don't think they get as much attention as they should, I think, compared with other British film series like the James Bond movies. I think the carry on films get less attention these days, I think. No, I think I think they're underrate underrated now. <clears throat> That's just my opinion, but of course, it's, it is the longest-running British film series. I mean, it's 31 films. There's only 25 James Bond films, so... So, yeah. Um, what do you think about the Carry On films? If, if you can't think of any, any answers to this one, you, you, don't, you, don't, have, you don't have to... Well, <laughs> cause um, it, I'm not, uh, I haven't got well known to the Carry On... Yeah, you've only seen a few, haven't you? Whereas, whereas I, I've I've seen every single one of them like loads of times. Like, um, I can't I can't really I can't really uh, confirm how many times I've seen them. It's about a hundred times. It's probably but, um, more than that actually. But I'm more familiar with other comedies as yeah. well. But you've seen some of the Carry Ons, haven't you? But yeah. So thank you, Carry and. Thank you for watching this Q&A. <clears throat> yeah, and hopefully we'll do another one. Oh yeah, we'll definitely. We, sh we, should, we, should do we should make this more regular. I think we've... Do you know which question I would like to hear? Yeah. I would like them to ask me questions about the film Wreck. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure someone will, will ask. 
So I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed that, and and I I thank you for all the questions, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, and I hope you all have a great evening. Bye. Bye.